Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this cute baby. They are very popular for birthday cakes, christenings and even baby showers. So I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so to make this model baby I'm going to be using yellow sugar paste and to that I'm going to add a small amount of toilet powder. The rule here is it's a teaspoon to every 500 grams. So I'm just going to knead that through. So what this is going to do, it's going to make the paste nice and firm. So hopefully it will hold and be supportive and it's not going to squash down. Okay, so the shape I'm going to form is a sort of egg shape to start with, but I'm going to flatten the top a little bit. And then the bottom, I'm just going to squeeze here and this is where the legs will be. And then using the ball tool, just going to enhance that a little bit more. And then this area here is going to be the neckline. So I'm going to hollow that section out a little. And I'm holding it in my hand just to keep it supported and stop it squashing down. And I'm just going to sit him on the board. So a little bit of water now, just so once he dries he's not going to move anywhere. Just squeezing in at the waist a little, just to shape out the bottom a little bit more. Okay. So now I'm going to move on to the legs. So for this I'm using flesh coloured paste, which I have coloured with a little bit of chestnut. This has already got tolo powder in it, so it's already nice and firm. So I'm going to roll a sausage and then the best way to make sure it's the right size is just to hold it next to the body. So if I take some of that off now, if I place that next to the body then I can see that it is getting there but it's still a little bit too thick. I'm going to roll it a little bit more, this should be enough for bow flicks. Okay, so I'm going to cut that halfway and with this one section I'm just going to thin it out a little bit at the bottom so it's slightly tapered towards the end of the leg. Just going to check that for size again. So at this point it's probably a little bit too long so if I'm going to cut it off I'll cut it off from the wider end. So now I need to make an ankle. I'm just going to roll about a centimetre from the end, making sure that I don't roll too thinly. And then I'm going to squeeze and pinch the foot forward. Then going to roll halfway down the leg all the way around and this will shape the leg and produce a knee. The thigh I'm just going to round off a little bit 
gonna bend it slightly just give it a bit more shape I'm checking that next to the body just to make sure it's the right kind of shape the right kind of length and see here I'm just pushing it up a little bit just so it's not sitting completely on the board so it looks a little bit more natural the toes can just mark the toes in with the Dresden tool that's just four little lines there and it's quite natural for the toes to curl over just slightly I'm just going to secure that with a little bit of water so I'm just going to do the same with this one checking on the length I'm trying to do it exactly the same size as the other one put the little toe marks in and then just rolling it halfway again that seems a little bit too long I think I've narrowed it out a little bit too much so I'm just going to push it back up and just remodel it slightly. A little bit of water inside there. And position it so it looks natural. So the legs need to be, well the, the feet need to be just going off out to the side a little bit. And I'm just going to shape the baby grow a little bit more, so a couple of little creases in it. And now it's time for the arms. Okay, so just taking a little bit more of this yellow, I'm going to finish off the baby grow. I'm just going to cut a circle with a buttercream nozzle, doesn't matter which one. I'll cut that in half. So this one half now will go to the bottom. And just stretch it across a little bit if I need to. And then taking a couple of tiny little pieces and roll them into two little balls. And then they can just sit at the top there and make little buttons. It doesn't want to sit there better okay so I can possibly put another little crease in there just to finish off that so next it will be the arms So I need 
a sausage of paste again. The arms are quite easy to, to measure. Just making sure that it goes from the top of the body and just rests onto the board. So that's a little bit too long and it was a little bit too thick. Let's try that. Again, just a little bit too long. So I'm going to mark the other one as well. So I know they're both the same size. Just gonna thin that out a little bit more. You can get away with quite chunky arms on a baby because they're always nice and chunky. When we've got little extra rolls of fat around their arms and legs anyway. So this is going to be um, the hand section. So again, roll that between the fingers and then just press down and you've immediately got a hand shape. I'll do the same to this one. And then same as I did for the knees We'll create the elbows by just rolling halfway down the arm. See, I'm not pressing too hard, this is quite gentle. So, for the hands, I'm just going to cut. Oops, we'll show a bit close to the camera how I'm going to cut there open that out and take half of that thumb away and by just gently pressing I can get rid of that cut edge. And then just to mark the rest of the fingers just press down with the side of the knife. I'm not cutting all the way through I'm just embossing. Just enhance the hand a little bit more and that's one arm done. little lines and there we've got the arms so they just need to rest at the top of the body so I've used a little bit of water now if they're a bit thick that's a little bit thick there so I'm just gonna take a small section off right at the top just so it sits against the body a little bit neater And to finish off those arms, we just need sleeves. So going back to the yellow. I'm going to roll that out and cut another circle using the buttercream nozzle. I can just be cutting off and then with a little water on the top of the arm just neatly place those on curve side up just to finish it off if you need to slightly stretch it that's fine as long as the whole arm is covered and there's no um, skin exposed I just check around the back. Okay, so now we need a little bit of a neck. So to make the neck, roll a ball and then roll it into a cone. I'm just going to check the size, make sure it fits in that area and cut some of that off. Now I can adjust it once it's in. I'm just 
just going to push it in make sure it sits nice and snug and then I'll just adjust the top of the neck so we don't need too much then I'll just trim that down adjust it a little bit more this is where the lolly stick comes in just need to make sure that it's going to be slightly above but not too much so I'm going to mark it there and then just bend it to break it it's important that the stick is um, wet before you stick it in because then it will attach to the sugar paste much easier But as I stick it in, I'm just going to twist it down gently until I get down to the bottom. I don't, I don't want to squash the body at this point. Give it a little bit more shape. And if I needed to, I could still cut down a little bit more neck. Just cut around the stick and lift it off. So now onto the head. Babies are quite cute if they've got these nice big heads. A little head would look quite strange. So I'm just going to make sure I'm happy with the size of the head before I start modelling it. I'm just going to test it out. And that should be okay so as I model it now I just want to make sure there's no creases in there and because it's a modeling paste it is a little bit uh, tougher so I have to smooth it quite well to get all those creases out so a nice round shape I'm gonna place that there for a moment I want the head to be quite round so I'm going to take some sugar paste in a bag and just make a little bit of a format. Then I'll sit the head in there and it will keep the back of the head round until I'm ready to put it on. So first of all, the eye area, so just above halfway. I'm just going to flatten that down with the side of my finger. Always smoothing as I go because I don't want any sharp, harsh lines. And taking the um, bone tool, just going to create the eye socket. So I'm pushing down on the side of the tool and not directly into it straight on this helps shape out the eye and the temple area better I'm just going to smooth that out again just going to shape the face a little bit more there So for the nose, I'm going to take a small amount of paste, just a pinch, and I'm going to roll it into a little oval shape. And then the nose will go directly in the centre of the face, using a little bit of water. The mouth I will create using this buttercream nozzle. So I'm just going to pretend I'm giving him a drink and then that creates the nice mouth shape and then using the Dresden tool I can just give him his dimples a 
and then these ears you just need two small balls of paste they don't need to be too big and they just go on the side of the face So they're directly on the side and in the centre. I'm just going to press these. I've just turned them into a slight oval shape before pressing them on. And that can be um, just pressed in there, right at the front of the ear, but in the centre. That helps attach it to the face but it also gives it the nice ear shape. Okay, so for the eyes, I'm gonna use a little bit of white. So this is a white modeling paste. You could just use sugar paste for this anyway, for such a small section. So the eyes still need to be quite big because they do look cute if they're slightly large. I'm just going to make sure that they're the same size before I continue. So a little bit of water inside the eye socket, but not too much. And just press that ball in. So I'm pressing it in slightly, but I am not flattening it completely. So it still needs to be, have this rounded look to it. So now to add the irises. I've got a little bit of dark blue or a deeper blue it's not too dark just take a small pinch for each pupil that was slightly too much again the irises do need to be a little enlarged it looks better and they always need to be looking into a direction not straight ahead so I'm going to place it so it's just looking slightly up and to the left just make sure they're the same size there So I'm using a little bit of black for the eyes, so just a tiny small amount, even smaller than the irises. Sometimes it's worth taking a small piece and then just cutting that into two. That might still be too big, so I'll cut that one down as well. And make sure they're the same size and they can just be placed on with a little bit of water as well that just goes directly in the center of the iris and make sure that they push down the same amount we don't want them sticking out too much if you look from the side view need to be quite flat okay so I'm just going to place this on top of the body now and gently get it off the format it might be that you just need to soften out any creases at the back so I'm going to place it down just making sure the top of that stick is wet place it down so he's looking just up rather than straight ahead or down. So we 
quite careful not to squash the face. And if you've got time, sometimes it's worth just waiting until the face has dried off a little bit more. Okay, so he needs a little bit of hair. And I've got some brown sugar paste here. So first of all, I'll put the eyebrows in place. Now, just a tiny, tiny little eyebrow is long enough. Not a full eyebrow, otherwise he'll just look a lot older than he's supposed to. Tiny little eyebrow. And then the hair is just little um, cones that you just tape off into little short, sharp pieces. So that just goes right on the top of his head. So I'll put about three on. those little tufts of hair so he's almost ready but I'm going to um, put his thumb in his mouth just to add a bit more cuteness so to do that I'm going to need to make um, a little mouth so I'm just pushing in there you won't see this when the hand's there. Then this hand, bend it. And turn his hand over slightly and then just using a bit of water. Push it into the mouth. Now if the paste is drying, this can be done. You can do the head before you do the hand. Just hold that there a little while and that's it. One modelled baby all finished and ready to go on to a cake. Thank you for watching my tutorial. I hope you liked it. Please be sure to visit my website or my YouTube channel where you will find many.